Hi guys, Gemma Ganya with Convicted Hearts. If you have a convicted heart, you are in the right place. Today I'm doing something different, so hopefully I don't mess it up. If I do, you guys can laugh at me or laugh with me. So I am making a prison spread. This is um, requested by a subscriber. And the recipe I'm making today is going to be called um, the Ad Seg Spread. And that is coming from someone who gave me this recipe. So it's not going to be all bougie and like 23, 24, 25, 26 ingredients is. This is going to be something similar to what might be made when um, someone might be in an accident. Okay? So I'm going to start out with my soups. I took one out of the bag already because I'm trying to spare you guys the sound of the paper or plastic. And I'm pouring this in a bowl. I'll show you right now. Okay? And I hear you're supposed to take out the seasoning packet. So, here we go. And now I have hot water. Now this time, with my hot water, I'm not going to pour it on my feet on accident. Because that just happened a few minutes ago, right? So, I'm pouring that in. And I think I have to let that sit for a few minutes. I'm not going to let it sit long enough to get like super mushy, because that's gross. In my opinion, if you like mushy noodles. You know, no hate. Do your thing. And I'm just moving this around with a big wooden spoon. I realize this probably doesn't, can't get a hold of this in ad sec, but I'm cheating right now, okay? Oh, you guys, get you a girl or a guy with burnt spoons because that's a sign that they probably cook on the regular. If you have a spoon like this, maybe, not so much. This, my favorite spoon, yeah, she cooks. Okay. I'm just going to move this around. Hopefully this isn't making a ton of noise. I watched a couple of these trying to do a little bit of research. And I noticed that some people that were doing it, they were using like metal utensils or like banging on the, the little bowl or something. And it was super loud. So that was annoying. I'm trying to be nice and not annoy you guys. And I really don't want to show you guys the meat stick I got because it's very embarrassing I tried to find one the appropriate size that I was shown but apparently um, only super duper extra large is in stock so I'm not gonna pick it up for obvious reasons but believe me this meat is packing so switch these around and you know what? I'll let it sit while I cut the okay sorry for the noise I do have a large knife. I'm using this on food not to hurt anyone. And I found all kinds of different recipes, but nothing really, I don't know, sounded like something I would want to make. I did talk to my brother also. This is not his recipe though. And he just told me that he makes burritos. I'm like, okay, well, I do that like on a regular basis. That doesn't sound very exciting. Although I'm sure it is for him. I should have asked him what he puts in it, but I didn't. Another thing that he told me he makes, which sounded, I don't know, surprised me, is that he puts two sopas and tuna in it. But I'm like, is that like really a spread? He's like, well, not really, but it works, you know, and it's not like something that costs a lot of money to make. It's not something you make to like celebrate like a game day or maybe somebody's birthday or whatever you might be celebrating but it does the job right but i wasn't feeling the, the tuna in the soup so we're gonna go with this and see how it turns out okay so maybe i will show you guys the meat because it's this is a lot of meat i think i'll I don't know if my kids are going to want this, so I might give the rest of the meat log to my puppy after. She don't have puppy. She's big. But I think she would like it. She likes anything. Okay, so I've got that cut up. And I already cut like a fourth of it, and there's that much left. So the dog will be happy tonight, I'm sure. Okay, mix this up a little more. I'm gonna drain the water and hopefully not burn myself again. And 
The noodles are still a little bit crunchy, so I heard that's supposed to be a good thing. It has some texture to it and not gonna be all mushy. Okay, so I'm gonna drain the water very carefully. You know, because I, I really know what I'm doing here. Drain it all out. Watch me forget something. Hopefully not. I need to do this where you can see, okay? So I drain the water out. That's how it looks right now. I'm gonna put one packet of seasoning in it, not two. Even though I made two soups, I'm only putting one packet because everything else gets pretty salty once you put it in. And I, uh, what do I got here? I do have plastic forks, yes I do. I didn't have a spork, so sorry. But I had some plastic forks, so that's what I'm gonna use to mix it up and see how I can get this this going for you guys. This is not something I would normally eat at this time, but I'm trying it. I'm doing this for you guys because I love you so much. And it was a special request, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so I got the one seasoning pack mixed in here pretty good. And that's how it looks. Next, I'm going to, I think I add the meat next. So I cut it up in like little diced pieces, so like small little pieces. I don't have my nails done, sorry. Soon though. Okay. Putting all that in. And then the next step is putting in some chicharrones. So I took them out of the bag so I wouldn't make a ton of noise. I mean, it's going to make noise still, but hopefully not as bad. I know that can be like really obnoxious, especially if you have headphones on or earbuds or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so get this all mixed up in here. That looks about right. So, sopas, meat, and chicharrón so far. Next, I'm going to add some, well, it would be squeezed cheese, probably, and add this egg from what I hear. But this is what I had on on deck, so that's what's gonna what's gonna work. And I'm gonna use a clean fork to get that out because that's nasty to be double dipping your stuff in there. Because somebody might want to eat this later. Put like I would, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? But you just put what you think is right. I put probably like three tablespoons, and I'm gonna mix that up. Ooh, that's so crunchy. Okay, dokie. I hope you guys are doing good and feeling blessed. And if you guys have any recipes you want to share with me, share them in the comment section down below. I would be super curious to see what you guys make or what you might have heard people make. This is what I hear. This is a nice little spread, so that's what I'm doing. I've got that mixed up. And going. I think I saw um, Goyo. I think I saw that he made a spread the other day with his family. And also um, Beatrice C. I saw she posted one and it looked pretty bomb actually. So nice job, you guys, hooking it up. Shout out to both of you. All right. I got the cheese mixed in. And now I guess I'm supposed to put some mayonnaise. Yes, I said mayonnaise. Okay, another clean fork because that's nasty. You double dip everything. Okay, now I'm gonna use both of the forks because we're done with the extra. And mix it all up. Try and get it all nice and worked in there. I should have made it where you guys could see better. I'm sorry, this is my first time making this thing for you guys. Next time I'll be able to do it in my kitchen, hopefully. But since everybody decided to hang out in there tonight, here I am in my little corner of my room in my my uh, cell block behind me <laughs> just kidding okay well I mean it looks it looks mixed up I think this is gonna be good looks pretty yummy I just want to get the parts with the 
the season packet worked in pretty good because I want to bite into like a super salty piece. Let's see. I was going to also put some like pickled jalapenos, but I didn't have any. But I heard if you do have some, that is another step you should probably add to this to add a little spice in your life. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how this looks. I think this is how I remember it looking when I was shown by somebody. All right. Looks good. It smells good. Now I'm going to try it. We'll find out if this ad-seg spread is really all that. Okay. I'm going to try and get a little piece of everything. I'll let you guys know what I think. Boom. Right there. Okay. I get it. It's definitely good. I get it. I, okay. This is, I'm actually surprised. Kind of speechless because I was not expecting that. Everything works really well together. You can taste everything. Different textures. It's not mushy. It's not nasty. It's good. And I'm sure if you're eating all these carbs and calories, it's going to help bulk you up if that's what you're trying to do unless you're not trying to do that, so it's up to you. But um, yeah, it looks pretty delicious. Do you guys have any recipes of these? Like I said, share it in the comments because I'm curious what everybody's different spreads are. I've heard a lot of people use like some dehydrated refried beans with stuff, but I didn't have that obviously. that big of a bite though but that's it this is the ad sex spread wish I could tell you where it came from but I can't because I don't be telling like that <laughs> so um you guys try it out make it at home or make it wherever you're watching from try it out let me know in the comments tag me if you follow me on social media at convicted hearts Jen Magana on Instagram and let me know what you think Give me some ideas of something I can add to it or something I can make next time. Until then, love and blessings from myself to all of you. Stay safe and uh, reach out to me if you need someone to talk to because I'm always here and I will be there to listen. God bless. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have Ruby try the spread that I made, the ad-seg spread, and she's going to give me her honest opinion of what she thinks. Ruby, did you just do what I think you did? No, there's noise. Okay. Um, all right, take a bite. It's not it. spicy. I see the spicy thing. Girl, you're Mexican. Why are you saying you're scared of it spicy? I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. I'm Italian. Take it's a bite. It's more spicy. Take a bite. I did. I take a little nibble. Okay, take more than a nibble and tell me what you think. Are you going to break my heart? Do ah. you want to break your mother's heart? No. Okay, take one bite and I'll leave you alone. I taste. Please. All I can taste is this. I, how do you know I even put that in there? I can taste that. You did not taste that. Yes, I did. Okay, taste a bite of uh, the meat. Where is it? Oh. The meaty bird. Come on, you're a Mexican, not a Mexican. Do it, girl. I'm trying to get one of them. Okay. Eat it! Stop being a weenie! Come on! Ruby! It is weenie. Come on, you don't want to be... <gasps> See what you did? Now Angel's going to have to come in here and eat it. Okay, is that all the love you're going to show me? That's it? Don't put it back in there. Wow. Okay, you guys. Oh, well, I said it was good. Ruby just doesn't want to try it. I love trying it! It's... What does it taste like? It tastes like that, and that tastes like wiener. 